Merry Christmas and Happy New Year's from the Bowers family. I hope you enjoyed our tour. Hey, Merry Christmas from the Ellingtons. We're excited to be working with Casa in the Pines to open up our home and wish you all a Merry Christmas, so come on in. So I wanted to um, show you the kind of the neutral palette that I went with to be kind of a calm look in our home. And I love the sort of retro looking uh, tinsel trees, but you don't have to do them vintage. You know, you can just do them in the nice soft uh, mixed metals, which is a good way so that I could mix in my gold from prior years, but then also add some copper and some silver. So that was a lot of fun. And um, another thing that I find that I do is I add so many decorations that sometimes I literally snuff out my lights. I decided a few years ago to start putting up a tree and not putting any decor on it. So what you see in the corner is just an example of that. Um, just a lit tree that we really love that just shows off um, the pretty lights and makes it feel like a little winter wonderland. So you can tell that I'm a big bird lover and love all things um, bird related. So I have the, um, the pendant lighting in here that was kind of inspired in the kitchen. And then uh, the nature -y look in the um, tree in the dining actually has some fun birds that I collected over the years. For those of you that remember Clark's Department Store, some of those little uh, friends came from there and I love showcasing them on that tree. So I keep out birds in some shape, form, or fashion year round, but Christmas time they really um, explode here at our home. Um, no party is complete without holiday sweets at our home. So you can see um, Cookies by Cassaw fixed me up with some gorgeous works of art and um, I just told her my inspiration and she wanted to um, help out Cost in the Pines as well. So you can see her work displayed there. Merry Christmas! Welcome to the Casa Christmas Tour at the Evans Home. Come on in. This snow village was my mother. Parts of, of it were my mother, so it has some really special meaning. And it's our grandchildren's favorite thing to sit and just stare at. This is Marty's stocking when he was a little boy that his, his mother made. 
um, over 70 years ago. I love to collect nativity scenes and this was my grandmother's and I think this nativity scene is probably probably 90 years old probably so it's real special to us and then we also collect Santa Clauses so here's a few Santa Clauses that we've collected over the years Every ornament on the tree has some sort of meaning to it. Um, most of them are from our travels everywhere. So that is, we collect a Christmas ornament everywhere we go. And then you'll also see Christmas ornaments from our, our children um, that they had throughout their growing up. And this one uh, is a special little heart that was made from my mother's wedding dress. Snowflakes were crocheted by my grandmother. This is our, my countdown to Christmas that my children uh, said the poem every night and took a bell off the tree to count down to Christmas. Nothing other than just a tree with all of our Christmas cards from over the years. Uh, that's what I decided to decorate. <laughs> so we can watch the children as they grow up, the grandchildren as they grow up. <laughs> These pieces right here, the felt pieces, were, um, were beaded and made by my grandmother with my help, so that was, that, that's really, really special <clears throat> to me. Uh, the socks, I have a group of teachers that I taught with and every year, we exchange socks for Christmas. So this is my collection of all my socks over the years, many years that we've been friends. That's my baby doll uh, that I grew up with. And the shiniest star was a, a gift for my Sunday school teacher when I was in, um, when I was five years old. So that's another special memory for Christmas. And the tree is filled with old uh, toys from my children and just the favorite things of our grandchildren. This is probably my favorite room. <laughs> The dining room for no other reason than it's just pretty. It's not Christmas at Mimi's without home baked goods, so. <laughs> this is my uh, kind of cross stitch project for um, this year. Since I didn't have any grandbabies to make a stocking for, I decided to make a picture. So this little picture here took me about a year to make. Um, so it's one of my, another one of my favorite things. So, uh, this is my Christmas stocking when I was a little girl. So obviously we've come a long way with stockings since, uh, since then. So it's, 
uh, one that uh, once again that my grandmother made for me. And these are uh, little reindeer cups that my children were their favorite things to drink hot chocolate out of when they were growing up. joining us. Merry Christmas from the Fullers. Bye. Hello. Hello. Welcome to our home. Welcome. Merry Christmas. Uh, we have been collecting Snow Village for uh, about 25, 30 years and we love to share it, so this was a great time to share it with Lufkin and uh, CASA and for a good charitable uh, organization. Okay, this is Elvis Presley's Graceland, the Ryman Auditorium, and the Shady Grove Church. And of course, there's the Pink Cadillac and the Opry Singers. 
the taxi, the Corvette, and the Sunday school singers. I put the nativity down low so the children can play with it. Okay, the Santa needlepoint was done by Ellen Gibson about 30 years ago. This is a McKellar's and Sons grocery store that was made in 1983. And see, it has the stairs going up the side. I think it's a very unique piece. This number three firehouse we bought last year because our grandson is a fireman. We have 40, 40 buildings and then lots of accessory pieces. This is the garage sale. The grandchildren like it. It has lots of pieces to it. And this is the outhouse. Holiday hoops. I mean, the construction guys. That's more brothers. <laughs> This Santa was painted by Elizabeth Friday when I was four years old, which means it's about 70 years old. Um, it's one of my cherished possessions. It's painted front and back. This is the stone church, and this is an old piece, 1977, a snow village by Department 56. Um, this is a, a 1978 piece. And this is a 1977 Victorian house, all uh, old pieces, and I love the old pieces. This is Starbucks coffee cart. That tree is our travel tree. The bus from Glacier National Park. Little uh, nativity scene from Mexico. And the Eskimo lady from Alaska. There's a couple more little RVs, and of course, this is the big RV there. This little guy is one of the Mounties from Canada. These are the original six Department 56 Snow Village buildings. They were produced in 1976, just as they are. No accessory pieces with them. It took us a long time to collect these. We had a hard time finding them. Uh, also, this was the first accessory piece and then this one, and this one, and this one were added each year afterwards. So we have the original six buildings and the original four accessory pieces. This picture, this picture is actually a print on canvas of an original painting by Gina Dupree Fennell. And I've always loved it. And I'm just, I feel so special to have it. And this picture is done by her mother, Barbara Dupree, uh, also a print of an original painting of the poinsettia. This is um, lot 56, which is a little trailer house. And we traveled in our trailer for 14 years. So we um, love all of the travel uh, items and especially the little woody wagon and RV. We lived in a log house and the, the Moore family gave us that plate while we lived in the log house. Ground. Four, five. Okay, what is your favorite? The, the, the builders there. Merry Christmas.
Christmas. Hi, y'all. Welcome to the Hughes Residence. My name is Leah Hughes. I hope you enjoy. Cocoa Bar, every year my daughter and I, we exchange different uh, coffee cups, just to find different unique ones and then we exchange every year. And we just keep adding to the collection. This is our special room. My daughter-in-law, she helped me decorate it up and everything. It's our first grandson, Daxton, and so we have really tried to make it very special for him. A piece that Danny made for Chelsea and Corey's wedding and then it just kind of fit perfectly in our bedroom. is from, been passed down to Danny from his parents. From his dad worked at Coca-Cola plant, I believe. And uh, that's where he got it from, so it's like over 50 years old. The Christmas train is over 30 years old. My kids love it. Even my grown kids love it. And if it wasn't for all of them coming over and helping decorate, I probably wouldn't have gotten everything done. Welcome to our home, the home of Chad and Keela Morgan. It's a 12 foot tree. 12 feet, goodness gracious. Um, how long have you been doing a Santa themed tree? I've actually been doing a Santa tree theme for about 10 years and I add and change it throughout the years. Well, I have, you know, I've been to your house many a times and I remember your tree 
big Santa themed, but I remember some years it being different, like the colors being a little different. Yes. Yeah. And so, and I do remember the one year that you told me that your son, Connor, was the one who got up to the top for you and got on the ladder and took care of business for you. And I was really impressed because he was probably about 11 years old at the time. So yes. <laughs> you put him to work and he delivered. Yes, he did. <laughs> closest friends. Well, what's one of the reasons you decided to do the tour this year? Because it's for a very great cause. But I did do a lot of it because of you. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, thank you. I love you too. <laughs> I'm Morgan. This is the home where myself, my husband, and our two daughters, Ella and Ava, live. And this is my mother, Sandy. Hello. She helped decorate our home for Christmas, and she's going to be helping us on the tour today. I love how Morgan incorporated a lot of the items she already had into her Christmas decor. And we used our champagne bucket that we got as a wedding gift, and we put a tree in it, put some snow fluff, and use that as one of our items in our entryway. Okay, so this is our master bedroom, and this is my favorite feature, my shoe closet. That was a necessity when we moved into our home that this would be added on, so this is a fun little feature. And I also still have my wedding shoes, one of my favorite features of the closet as well. Zach scented with a lot of fresh greenery and it's really special because um, it came from our family farm and we were able to cut it from the farm and bring it out here and use some of the, um, the greenery from the place where she grew up and put it in with her decorating and I think it adds just a nice fresh touch to everything. So this is my favorite room in the house. Uh, it represents our home. We tried to do our Christmas decor to go along with the style of our home, sort of modern, contemporary. Uh, we used our wedding china and brought that out for Christmas. 
Also, we incorporated several things from family and different pastimes. This uh, Sacred Heart statue of Jesus has been in our family for over 60 years, so I was so thrilled when Morgan wanted to put it in her home. So our house was completely remodeled from floor to ceiling in every room. Again, another Sammy Montez uh, decoration. The only things that we kept in our home were our chandelier and our sconces. So these are original to the home. We thought they were very beautiful and, uh, and elegant. So we have kept those. In. So Colorado holds a special place in our hearts and we wanted to bring that to our home. So we have our tree forest up there that we have to just bring a little bit of Colorado to our home here in Lufkin. As a realtor, of course, I help my daughter find her home. And when we were looking for homes, the kitchen was, of course, one of the most important rooms of the house. We have a large family and we love to cook and have family dinners. And so this was a big factor, having a great entertaining space. And we love that we're able to have everyone in a central room. We also have it flows into our living room and everyone's just able together in one space together to celebrate holidays and special occasions. And working with that, uh, she has a very minimalistic and modern style and kind of kept that up with the decorating and you can especially see that through here. Um, we feel like it looks very cheery and in a holiday spirit, but still the very clean, open look that she likes. So when Morgan said that she was going to decorate her entire house and not use red or green, I didn't know how that was going to happen, but it did and it looks fabulous. But in this room, in the laundry room, a little more casual, we decided to bring in a couple pieces she wanted to use with more traditional colors. Um, again, some great friends I have that came in and helped and did all this wonderful decorating. Yeah, so shout out to the Yaya's. Thank you very much for all of your help. sort of our hangout room. We have our pool table. Jennings and I have always loved to play pool. We also have uh, the poker table for when it's guys night. And we have our dino tree uh, in honor of the Naranjo Museum, which my husband and father-in-law have found most of the dinosaurs in the museum. So we are a dino family and wanted to represent that in our home. Uh, we also have some beautiful garland and other things donated or given by Jennifer Winston. And so we appreciate all of her contributions. Okay, in this area we have our snow and our cranberries and some greenery. This is something we can use the candlesticks with different occasions and seasons. And in this instance, we added this snow. So a little something that you can add from your own home and things you have around your home to make it for the Christmas season. 
So this is my daughter's room. It was originally a workout room that we had to enclose to make a nursery and it is close to our room so that made it very fitting. Uh, we have crowns for our little princesses and we also incorporated some of the unicorns, the magical mystic which our three-year-old Ella is in love with currently. And I uh, have to give a thank you to Sammy Montez and Michelle Bradley who helped with the entire home. They were the designers. Yes, the for, designers for. and the masterminds behind uh, everything you see today. So we're very grateful. And a lot of wonderful friends who came out and helped pluck trees and decorate. And just, it was a big group effort. Hi, my name is Natalie Thornton and this is my home. I've worked for Casa for a long time and so I'm excited to have my home on the, on the tour. This is my friend Jennifer Webster and so we're going to just look around the house and I'm going to talk about some of the things and how I've decorated. So, are you ready Jennifer? I am. Good. <laughs> um, I told Jennifer before that a lot of this stuff, I feel like I'm just a huge moocher because I have a lot of family heirlooms. And um, this furniture here actually came from my grandparents. And um, so this room here though is pretty simple. I haven't, I don't have a lot of decorations in it. And some of these furniture pieces are kind of small and the, the decoration pieces are kind of big. They're kind of statement pieces. So I didn't want to have too much. Um, I've had this tree for a while and I just kind of feel like this room is a little bit of a serene room, kind of a winter wonderland type of feel. So I really enjoy being in this room and relaxing, reading a book here, taking a nap here, just sitting and, and just chilling out. So in this room right here, it's um, kind of like our dining entertainment area and um, we just I just enjoy being in here. I have a small table. This actually was my great uncle's table. It's um, old, kind of antique. This kind of thing over here, this used to be, my parents had a big um, stereo system in it. And my <laughs> grandfather on my mom's side built it. And so now I kind of use it as a buffet. These plates here, most of these plates came from my grandparents. And a lot of them were old. My grandmother had a really good friend. Her name was Elsie Cates, and she did a lot of painting. And so if you look, some of these plates they say, say like E. Cates because she did a lot of the painting for the plates, and she paid a lot of attention to detail. Some are old, some are like my wedding china and whatnot. And then we have these shelves that are over here too that I've decorated that just have different odds and knickknacks. This tree we've had forever. We've had this tree probably since um, 1996, 97. Oh, wow. A long time. <laughs> um, a lot of years to collect these Santa Claus ornaments and, um, you know, try to keep it really red uh, just because of the Santa Claus and the poinsettias and, and whatnot. I really enjoy doing the top. That's um, just something I just like working on. I like putting these sticks in it. <laughs> Uh, these sticks I usually have somewhere, you know, in the house at other times when it's not Christmas and, you know, bowls or uh, vases or whatnot. And um, you see right here, I have my 2020 ornament, which is, you know, what we all think of 2020. <laughs> Just such a fantastic year we've had. Um, I buy a, a year ornament every year I have since 1994, but almost all of them are on the other tree that we'll see in just a minute. Um, this, as you see, is my kitchen. What, one thing I tried to do was, even though the house is very connected, you know, it's, it's very open, but I, I try to make it to where the rooms actually have a little bit of a separate look, but then it kind of flows together. Um, this is, you can see I kind of did a black and white buffalo uh, plaid theme here and I kept it really simple in the kitchen because it's real easy for a kitchen to get bogged down with plates and dishes and whatnot and so for me it, it helped it kind of keep it a little bit more orderly this way. Um, some of this stuff is new. I, I got this at the Christmas Attic which is a little as a store downtown that's new that hasn't been there but maybe just a year or oh, so. Oh that's Sheila's place. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, got the gingerbread houses here. This right here is something that's kind of interesting. You see this little hammer and this tool 
And you may think, why do you have a hammer and a tool on the wall in your kitchen? Because that doesn't really go. Uh -uh. But it does go. Because this was my great great grandfather's candy hammer <laughs> and his little pick. And then there's a copper bowl that's under the tree over there that he made like, know, like hard candy with that bowl. And that, I guess that was something common that people would have these really big copper bowls and make this candy. And then they would, I guess, break it yeah. and make the little pieces. So um, this is really where we do all our hanging out. And this is where we watch TV. This is where we um, just congregate. This whole area. Jennifer's been over here many a times. Hi. This is <laughs> this is the area that everybody just kind of you know gravitates to. And um, one thing I did this year that I had done before is put the little Christmas trees up there. And you see how I did the, the little Christmas trees that were red and green, and then I did the little Christmas trees that were black and white, and then so it just kind of, you know, carries over. That was a really, that was a very economical way to decorate, because I mean, these little trees, they don't cost hardly anything, so it was nice to be able to buy something like that in bulk. So, um, this right here is our Christmas tree that is like our family Christmas tree. Not that the others aren't our family Christmas tree, but this one has the majority of our ornaments. Um, you know, my, my kids now are, how old are they, 18 and 22, I believe. And so <laughs> this tree right here represents basically my adulthood. <laughs> it starts from when I was in my 20s, and then it kind of carries on in my 30s, and then now I'm in my 40s, and I'm knocking on 50s door. It won't be too long, a couple <laughs> years for that. So um, I have a lot of ornaments that just, and I really thought about, like, I mean, you know, if this house caught on fire, probably this Aww. right here That's what would you would be what run. I would want to grab Aww. and run because these ornaments mean so much to me. Um, there's a lot from vacations. I always get an ornament when we go on vacation and then we have our year ornaments. And uh, I can remember probably every ornament on the street, when I bought it and what the memory is of it. That's so, really sweet. Yes, it is. It's. Um, I can't say that one is necessarily more important than the other, but yeah, I'll look at them. And this one, like this, here's our first Christmas Together ornament from 1994. So yeah, that's when I guess it started with the yearly ornament. My mother always did that. And so I guess I, technically I have yearly ornaments from her. So yes, a trip that I went with Jennifer, Sea Turtle <laughs> Music, was it Rescue Center in South Padre? Yep. Yes. That was a fun two weeks. That was a, yes it was. <laughs> Cheers to South Padre. <laughs> um, yes, and I believe this is one from South Padre too. Aww. Mm -hmm. And probably there's some others. Probably the this is Mexico. That could be when we were together there. So um, yeah, we've uh, yeah. It's fun to look at the tree and see the memories and see all the different things, the different places we've been. And, you know, just like all of you, you know, we all have just a lot of different memories, and that's what Christmas really is about: making memories with your family and your friends and it's just it's just a lot of fun and, and the home tour is a lot of fun just the same way because it's a it's a tradition for so oh, many for people sure. too. Yeah. yeah we always have a great time yeah well the plan is for our tiny house to be at the beach we had recently gotten some beach property and so my husband a couple years ago decided he wanted to build a tiny house so Course, what am I going to say? No, you can't build a tiny house. Yes, sure, that's great. Let's build a tiny house. One of the things, this right here, we're going to put here, but I didn't want to put it here yet because it's not down at the beach and we're going to have to transport it there and it might fly off on the road. So. But it's going to be really cute when we do put it up. You ready? I'm ready. Okay. You want to hold that door? Yep. Okay. Is it kind of dark like the Blair Witch Project? Right? <laughs> <laughs> no, it actually looks pretty good. Hey, here we go. Thank you. <gasps> oh, 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 o
we have the master bedroom. <laughs> And then we have our guest suite for our friends. They will be able to stay there. Well, we started here, so we're going to finish here. Thank you so much for helping me, Jennifer. Oh, it was so fun. Everything looks so beautiful. Well, I enjoyed it. It's been a lot of fun. I hope that 2020 is a Christmas that you all can enjoy. Enjoy the decorating. Use the time to spend with your families. And thank you so much for participating with me and all of you who are enjoying watching the tour. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Welcome to the Walker Home. We're glad you're here. We recently moved into this home a year ago, did some renovations, and we're so happy that you're here to see it. We have two little boys, and so our home is full of Christmas cheer most of the time this time of year. I wanted to point out these Christmas stockings that were handmade by my mother for the boys, and they were ready before they were even born, but this is something we love. CASA is an important organization to our family. My husband, Stephen, has been a member of the CASA board for many years, and we are really honored to be able to participate in the CASA home tour this year. This is my favorite room in the house because it's the only girly room in a house full of all boys. These chairs are special to me. These were my great grandmother's original antique chairs that we had recovered to match this room. So now this is the girly blue whimsical room. Um, but none of this would have been possible without the help from my mom who did most of the decorating. favorite Christmas picture. This is of Stephen and I as Mary and Joseph and Anders as baby Jesus at the First United Methodist Church's Old Bethlehem. Ho, ho, ho. Thank you for supporting the home tour. Merry Christmas.
Merry Christmas! <laughs>